Day 122 of the carnivore diet. A nice weight loss this week. How much did I lose? Welcome back. If you are new, my name is Karen and I have been on this carnivore diet weight loss journey since the first week of July. So this is my four month update. Once per month, in addition to weight loss, I take measurements and also post before and after pics. So that will be coming up in this video. First, I'll be sharing my weight loss. Then I will talk about inches lost. Then I wanna share with you some of the things that I've been eating, including a quick and delicious recipe that I tweaked for chaffles. And then I'll be sharing my before and after pics. Before I get started with everything, I just want to let you know that this week's midweek video will be on making ground beef jerky. I have heard that it's a lot easier to eat than regular jerky. And so I'm going to be making some in the oven and in the dehydrator. So watch for that coming up midweek. So how much have I lost this week? I was so excited. I lost four pounds this week. That brings my total to 39.1 pounds in the first four months of the carnivore diet. And guys, that is my biggest weekly weight loss number since the first two weeks of the carnivore diet when you lose all of that inflammation that you've been carrying around. So what did I change this week? Nothing. I didn't change anything. Last weekend, I kind of felt like a shift of some sort happened, like, I don't want this to be TMI, but I was going to the restroom a lot this week and I feel like my body released some of that additional inflammation that I have been carrying around. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hope that it continues to go down. As far as my inches lost are concerned, over the last 30 days, I lost an additional inch off of my chest, and this time I lost an inch off of my waist, but I didn't lose any inches on my hips. But the strange thing about that is I feel like my clothing is looser, and so since I only take those three measurements, I feel like I'm losing the fat from places like my back, and also I've got thunder thighs going on and I, I feel like some changes are happening there. So I feel like the inches that are coming off right now aren't necessarily going to be reflected in the measurements that I'm taking. And maybe you'll be able to see the changes in the pictures in a few minutes. So what are some of the things I've been eating this week? This week I picked up at the grocery, they had on sale what they called chicken grillers. And basically it's chicken stuffed with cheese and meat or cheese and asparagus or cheese and broccoli. They had a bunch of different kinds and then wrapped in bacon. So I thought, wow, that, that could be good. So I got a bunch of those. I got the asparagus and the broccoli ones for Dan and I had a meat one and then just a plain cheese one. And those are really good and I feel like it's something that I could tweak to be better and make it at home. So that might be a video coming up. We did of course have breakfast last weekend. I also had some New York strip steak one night and then last weekend I did have one or two pickled eggs. If you have not seen that midweek video on pickled eggs last week, I will link to it at the end of this video. Pickled eggs technically aren't carnivore, but I really don't feel like one or two pickled eggs a week is going to hurt anybody. So last night I decided to take the carnivore pizza crust recipe that I went over a couple weeks ago with you, which only has three ingredients, and I decided to tweak it a little bit and put it in a waffle maker that I had just got to try to make these chaffles that everyone is talking about, and it turned out really great. 
If you're not familiar with the carnivore pizza crust recipe I did a few weeks ago, it involves one large can of drained and shredded chicken breast, two beaten large eggs, and one cup of mozzarella cheese. But I wanted to use these chaffles as kind of a hamburger bun, so I decided to add some Parmesan cheese to the mix, as well as a little bit of garlic powder. Now I mixed this a little drier than I did my carnivore pizza recipe, because I wanted it to get like super crispy. Um, and it did get crispy. I wouldn't say it was super crispy. Maybe if I had left it in a little bit longer, but you can see me here um, putting it in the waffle maker. And then after probably, I would say maybe like three or four minutes is all it took. And um, then you can see what the result is. That is good. You're not going to get anything better than that in town. Dan and I both really liked these chaffles on the outside of a hamburger. Dan, of course, had some of those pickled onions from um, the pickled eggs that I make. And so I just wanted to share that little tidbit of information with you. Now let's move on to the before and after pics. This time, I'm not going to make comments on any changes that I see. I would like to know the changes that other people are seeing. So the photo on the left is going to be from about mid-July. That's when I started thinking about documenting um, what I looked like prior and then doing the before and after pics. So, Midweek July was about two weeks in to the carnivore diet. The picture on the right will be the photos that I took today. I had been wanting to use the same color and type of clothing. I did have to buy um, a size smaller in the pants I was using, so these are not the same pants as the first time because they were getting too loose. You couldn't see the shape of me at all. The first set of photos is from the front view. And if you would just take a minute and make a comment, if you would, on any good changes that you see from this first set of photos. The second set of photos is from the side. I do notice some changes from the side. And I noticed that with these newer pants, I can tell the shape of my legs a lot more. So perhaps in the next set of photos, that will be more evident of um, changes. And then finally, the photos from the back. What do you see here on these photos? Anything that has changed? Obviously, I am a little bit smaller, but I truly, truly, appreciate any comments that you have on my weight loss photos so far. I will see you midweek for the video on making ground beef jerky. Let's see if I can have another great weight loss week. I hope everything is going well for you and if you are still here on this video, I really, really appreciate you and thank you for watching my videos. And if you did like the video, please give it a like and also consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. I do these weight loss videos every weekend. I hope that you go out and have a fabulous week this week and that you do something good for somebody else. I'll see you midweek.